Hey guys, what's up? So as you guys know, a new update was released yesterday to Old School. Basically, this guy called Big Mo was added into Old School for the month of May. If he doesn't give us an elite here, I just... It has to be. We've done it every day. I got an easy, after getting four fishing levels, I get an easy clue in a bottle. How are you getting clues? What? In a bottle? Yeah, they have these new things. You can get an easy or medium harder elite in a bottle while fishing. You know, like, treasure map. Pretty cool, actually. It's dope, but I got an easy. I'm, ah, I'm gonna kill myself! This clue better change my life. I have no luck on this game. I get noted potions. I get nothing from month of mo, and after all, actually, man, I got a couple fishing levels, which is nice. But after all this fishing, I get an easy, like a medium would be nice, like for a chance of rangers. But I think the best thing I can get from here is a zami page, which, I mean, let's be real, this is the only thing that will make it worth it. All right, uh, I think that's Wizard's Tower. Search the crates in the East Arty General Store. We can do that. Search the drawers above Varrock shops. All right, pretty easy. I forgot how easy clues are, but I forgot how easy easy clues are. Obviously, the rewards are just terrible, though. <laughs> Another one. Wow, okay. All these crates and drawers. What is this? Why is an easy clue having me run around RS? I feel like it should just be in, like, Lumbridge. Sort of messed up, if you ask me. <laughs> ah! <laughs> Fantastic. That was very worth it. It was an easy clue, though, so I really shouldn't expect anything. I mean, I was expecting a Zami page, but whatever. So Jagex Maz released the drop rates for the clue bottles on Twitter. And speaking of Twitter, if you guys follow my Twitter on screen or link below, good things will happen. And I can understand why I did not get a clue bottle fishing at Barbarian Fishing or Leaping Fish, because it's literally the lowest chance of getting a clue bottle. I got mine at Monkfish, which came a lot faster than Leaping Fish. Now there's a simple, I want to say like algorithm to basically determine your chances of getting a clue while fishing. So at Monkfish, as you guys can see, that the chance is 1 in 130,583. However, basically you want to divide that by 100 plus your fishing level. So in my case, I was 83 fishing when I got it, so obviously 183. So if I do 138583, oh, whoops, 138583 divided by 183. I believe this is correct when I say it was a 1 in 757 chance of getting a clue bottle. Now I believe that's any sort of clue bottle. However, down here you guys can see the chances of getting one of the different clue bottles. Now obviously it's a 1 in 10 chance of an elite, 2 in 10 of a hard, 3 in 10 of a medium, 4 in 10 easy. So the chance of you getting an elite is even rare, obviously. I got an easy, I mean, you guys just saw me do it, but I don't know. I like. I really like this update. I think it's cool. I think it just adds something else to skilling. Um, well, in this case, fishing, but pretty cool. The best chance you have, obviously, is anglerfish, then shark, then sacred eel, lobster. I'm actually surprised lobster and rainbow fish before monkfish. I don't really know why. And dark crab is all the way up there. If you do wear a ring of wealth imbued, though, while fishing in the wilderness, you have a double chance of getting a clue in a bottle, which is pretty cool. So maybe I'll do that. I don't know. Pretty neat. Anyways, guys, thank you all for watching. Hope you enjoyed. I finally got it. Maybe not worth it. Hope you guys liked the intro, at least. That was fun to make. And uh, yeah, I'll see you in a couple days for the next video. Unless something pops up, that'll have me upload tomorrow. Anyways, guys, thank you all for watching. Hope to see you next time. Have a good one. And peace.